Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Um, today I'm actually using Unreal Engine on uh, my 980 Ti. Now this is a very old graphics card. I'm sort of like, you know, testing it out to see if Nanite and Lumen bring anything to the table for me because this would actually make me jump over from Blender to Unreal to do world building. So what I've done I brought in a few uh, car models from Sketchfab. These are all scanned assets, so they're not um, actually, uh, you know, they, they, well, they're basically not uh, optimized in any real way. These uh, models are, as you can see, you know, they've got a lot of polygons. So if I go over into here, you know, just try and have a look at some of them. If I look at the car cluster, then this car wall uh, well, at the minute it's showing that it's got one thousand or two thousand triangles. But if I right-click it and say, you know, nanite disable, uh, this might actually stutter my screen for a second. But once that's being done, what you'll notice is uh, that the number of polygons dramatically increases on this model. So nanite pretty much decreases everything to about two thousand polygons from what I've sorry two thousand triangles from what I've seen. So it sort of does that all the time with the models that I've imported in. Um, but as I've said, um, you can deactivate and you know enable and disable Nanite to see the differences. I would definitely say from a from a geometrical point of view, I don't see much difference. At least not uh, further you know further away from the model. If you get quite close, yeah, sure, there'll be some some uh, things that you may notice, but definitely not um, something you know massive or anything like that. Quality wise, it still looks pretty good. So it seems that the nanite has just been taken off for some reason. When, when I disable nanite, I just get all these sort of, uh, it just looks very weird. I don't know why. It just breaks the model after I deactivate uh, the nanite. So if we look now on the number of polygons, it's got, well, it's got 2.5 million um, uh, basically triangles. So that's a lot. Now, if I duplicate this, my FPS is now about 20. If I duplicate it again, you know, it will just start slowing down. So let me just select all of these and just duplicate them again. Again, I think my camera is probably going to stop, you know, start shuttering a lot and just, just the sound will work. But now I'm on, I'm on, you know, 13 FPS on this empty scene with just these models. Now, if I go back in here and enable Nanite, what you'll notice is that my FPS has now gone to 40 something. And obviously the models are now looking okay. I'm pretty sure if you import these models without selecting the nano, you know, to build the nanite mesh for them when you import them, then you'll probably not have this issue when you deactivate it. But uh, now I've got all of these in the scene, and as you can see, they're all got nanite enabled. So I'm just going to switch over to um, uh, nanite view. So just select clusters, and you can pretty much see what's going on. I mean, everybody has seen this, but as you go away from the scene they become a lot less um, uh, you know prevalent in geometry and as you get closer they become a lot more detailed now these two these models here have very low geometry to begin with so it's not massive massive change on these specifically but the these cl car wrecked car clusters will definitely have a big impact as you've seen on my um, performance now one thing to take note is that i currently have things such as the, the lumen is deactivated so if I go in here and search for lumen um, for some reason that's not what I wanted um, let me just why is this not showing me what I'm trying to look for right it's just looking in engine rendering so all oh, right I'm sure this I'm sure lumen is not actually active but it's very strange because I'm pretty sure I do not have this on. Um, so let me just try again. If I go into shadows, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Yeah, I'm not using virtual shadow maps, which is what you should be using if you're going to use Nanite, which again will take away from the uh, uh, performance. But I'm not really sure what's going on here with Lumen because I'm not really seeing it. Um, so let me just go into rendering and have a look yeah there we go dynamic global illumination oh right it's not finding lumen because it was deactivated so yeah you see this is set to none 
and my FPS was quite well about 30 40 whatever so if I put lumen on then obviously the lighting lighting is a lot better but my FPS has dropped um, considerably it seems but I'm sure it will get better um, so yeah you know when when you sort of switch from these you might get some bad FPS but then it will sort of come into place in a bit so it might just be because I'm also recording at the minute but um, in essence when I'm not recording the FPS on a 980 Ti sits at around 25 to 30 FPS with Lumen Active and Shadow uh, and those virtual shadow maps. But what I'll do is, what I do basically is I build my scene with Lumen deactivated and Nanite deactivated, well, sorry, not the Nanite, Nanite active, but Lumen deactivated and virtual shadow maps deactivated for the time being. But then once I've got something, you know, that I'm, I'm ready to use and so on, then I can start activating those effects as well to start rendering. So this is sort of the performance that we're getting at the minute with this, but again, it must be due to um, due to you know um, recording it. Um, so as you can see now, it's got a little better. But one thing that you can also do if you've got low performance is you can go in here and screen percentage, and you can set this to fifty percent, for example, and then your FPS is bound to go up because now it's just running at fifty percent of the screen uh, rather than a hundred percent. But uh, yeah, these models are pretty broken because as I said, they're just scans, but they were they were brought in over here for a reason because I wanted to see if uh, Nanite will work with them, which it does. And the best thing about this is that I just can I can just keep duplicating all of these with really no uh, no loss in performance to speak of. Um, I've just yeah, I've just duplicated them, but for some reason they've gone all the way up out there. So yeah, I'm just gonna bring them closer. Um, so yeah, you can see I've got this is still showing up pretty much the same FPS as before again Not ideal due to the amount of um, As I said due to lumen and what what's what, what it's doing, but uh, let me just delete all of these models and then You know just select everything from here um, I just want to take all these cars and just delete them so I'm just going to focus on this one here, this model over here. Um, this is again Nanite enabled and so on. But what I want to do is I want to go to the material of this car and just um, reset it to a, to a default value. Actually, you know, just this is the default sort of thing. Uh, but I'm going to select, I don't know, basic wall or something. So right, so it's now white as you can see. Now the big difference between Lumen and non-Lumen would be, which I'm pretty sure you guys may have seen this before, but if I, now I can actually find this using the Lumen word, as you can see. So if I deactivate, put this on to um, a none, that is pretty much how this would render, which is quite sad, isn't it? And, and also, let me just drag this out. I may want to just change the um, light a bit um, so let me just rotate it, just try and get some shadows in there, yeah, something like that, and maybe, yeah, so, and then, I don't know, maybe just get the inten intensity a bit, obviously that's pretty strong, so let's just put it at a 5, so this is pretty strong intensity of the light that I've got in here, so this is how it shows up right now, but then if I activate Lumen, um, this is you can see the bounce light which gives it that nice feeling a nice look overall so again for performance gain in Unreal 5 if you have a if you have a low performance video card like I do best thing to do is to keep lumen off and virtual shadow maps as well you can find those by uh, typing in here shadow uh, shadow M so then shadow map method, and then you can put this to shadow maps. Now, what uh, what Unreal, what, what the guys at Unreal are saying, I Epic are saying, is if you're using nanite meshes and you don't en enable sh virtual shadow maps, you're gonna have a bit, you know, gonna have some issues. So actually, I'm gonna show you what the difference is. So this is without, and then if I enable it, you can see how it gets these shadows over here, right? And this is this is how. The nanite model is being processed, but you're gonna get very nice shadows across your whole model if you use nanite on it. So it's very important that you do use it. But again, if you're struggling for performance, you can deactivate that. And especially if you're not using nanite, there's no point having it activated anyway. So uh, this is just my you know my tip to you. 
but um, yeah, I'm going to, as I said, not recording this works a lot better, but I'm definitely going to be building a world around this by using um, Nanite and Lumen and just see what I get. Um, I'm probably going to look at doing a stylized world just to see how that looks like, because we all know it looks beautiful with realistic environments, but how does it actually look like when you use... Uh, when you try to do a stylized environment you know that would be quite interesting to see as well so thank you guys for watching the video if you like to see more please like and subscribe and i'll be posting more unreal engine uh, videos soon thank you for watching